Hey there, everyone, welcome back to Game Vine and the Cat Wii. And today we're going to be reviewing a small little cat game called Felix the Cat in the Sack. Let's do it. Now, now Felix. Now, now, Felix the Cat in the Sack is an older game uh, designed by Friedman Fries and. People either like his games or hate them. I really don't have a problem with uh, most of them. There are ones that are stinkers, but not everyone's going to be a hit. Now, this game is all about betting and bluffing and uh, not much to do with the cat theme, though the art is pretty funny and the production for what you get in the box is fair. Let's not talk about what it looks like. Let me show you and then I'll tell you how to play and then I'll give you my thoughts. Let's go. Okay, so here's what comes in the box of Felix the Cat in the Sack. Now, these cards are ginormous. These are way bigger than standard cards, and the art on them is pretty good. I would say they're a bit thinner than I like, but they're bendy enough to stand the test of time. Now, I will dock some points for these little um, chips. These are the bedding chips. They're, um, I think, a little higher quality than just regular plastic chips, but it's still there. I would like something with more substance. Now this is a start player marker and that's pretty much it. That's what you get in the box. Now let me show you how to play. Okay, so this is set up for a four player game. You will give everybody their 10 cards. Everyone has the same uh, cards. And then the person to the left, so your left neighbor will uh, take one of your cards and not look at it and then discard it unknown to everybody but you. And then the start player will take this marker and then you're ready to begin. During the game, what you're gonna be doing is picking one card from your hand and putting it in front of you and the starting player will put his uh, card in the cat in the sack here and then going clockwise, everyone will put their uh, card in ascending order. So now that we have all the cards here, the betting phase is gonna happen. So it's just gonna be like a poker betting phase. Uh, you can either pass or you can bet or you can raise. Now you have some knowledge of what cards you have in front here, yours of course, and um, if you pass, Whatever the next card is in line, starting from the cat and sack all the way up to six, you flip over. And then once you flip this card over, you are out for the rest of the round. Now, if you're the next person to pass, well, you get a little bit of action. You get two of these mice tokens, with which are betting and points. And uh, then it, that will continue as you go down the line. And the last person standing will get six mice, but they might have to spend quite a bit but the person who wins overall will get to take all the cards and they have to take it whether they like it or not. Now let me go over the cards and tell you what that they do. All right, so in your hand, everybody has the same thing uh, and their points. Now these are 15 big points and these are five points. Now there's a standard positive, but then you have negative points. And um, then you have this bunny, which is basically a bluffing card and uh, you'll be putting that down. Now these dogs here are interesting. Now, if you put a dog down, a small dog uh, in the row, he will chase off the lowest negative in the row. So that could be good. Or he'll chase off the lowest positive if there is no negative. The big dog will chase off the highest card. There is a catch. If there are multiple dogs in a row, be it big and small or small, small or big, big, they mess around and play around with each other and they don't scare off any cats. And then the person who wins gets to claim all the cats that are in the bag and whatever is left. Whoever has the most points after those nine rounds is the winner of the game. Now let's give this game a grade and tell you what I think. Let's go. So that is Felix Cat in the Sack and this game gives a 76 for me. It is a hoot. The way that you bet and the way that you uh, bluff, it's so simple. But the way that the currency is flowing in the game makes it ever flowing and never gets stagnant. Um, so I like that, I appreciate it. If you're betting a lot, you know, sometimes you can't bet way too much, but you get those six mice, which is enough to get some kind of card in the line and you can save up over two turns. Now, I have laughed so much in this game. I 
think the art kind of induces it a lot, but I really think the mechanism of the bedding and the way that you can put a dog out and you're hoping nobody else put a dog out because um, you, you were thinking that Bob, he put that big negative in there and you put, uh, and um, Sally, she has only a few cards and she didn't put that 15 out, so she might be doing that, so you're going after that. So it's just these mind games, the betting is it's, it's really easy to kind of understand. Um, the way that the cards are in the middle takes a tiny bit of a learning curve, but once you get it, the gameplay is super fast and this scales really well. It, um, even if you go to a higher a place player count, it only adds about five minutes. I do like it at a higher uh, player count, but four players isn't too bad. And I think this just got reprinted a few years ago, if not uh, just a couple years ago. Um, so I don't think this is too hard to find, but this is a solid game. If you like card games and if you like betting games, you won't go wrong by getting this one. Now, if you're a cat board game fan, uh, you're not going to get much in the way of theme. So it does have the art, so there is that. So thank you so much for joining me in today's review. I hope it was informational and uh, I hope uh, that you liked the video. Click like if you did. And if you haven't already, click subscribe and hit the bell if you don't like it click dislike and let me know in the comments below why you don't so i can improve in the future but until next time i see you have a great rest of your day and a great time with all that you play everybody fine nation thank you for joining me in this cat video thank you for joining me again in this cat week video it's going to continue so stay tuned bye Miko, it's time to go. Good girl, Miko.